Hey traders, John Howell here. Today, I want to be sharing with you and helping you uh, understand a reversal pattern that happens in the markets, and it's called an island reversal, and it actually appeared on the GLD price recently. And I want to share with you exactly how it forms and, and what to look out for, and what does it actually mean for that particular market. So let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Hey traders, I'm running a webinar today and I'm going to be teaching you my number one trading system that I've been trading for majority of my trading career. Plus I'm going to share with you the three secrets that I use to go from $250,000 in debt to making a full-time income. Very first thing in the description, guys, click on that. Join me for my next free webinar and I'll see you there. Alrighty, traders, so let's get straight into it. Let me actually start off with just a good old, good old drawing uh, sort of mechanism here. So what tends to happen with a, with that? Let's, I'm going to use this as a bullish reversal, or this uh, sort of a, a bullish sort of uh, island reversal. The way that this market works um, and the way that this pattern works is that we, we, we will, for starters anyway, we will see the market rise. It'll start to do this, it'll start to rise and rise and rise and rise, right? So we start to get the market moving up. Now, this is just the pattern you wanna watch out for as you're doing your trading because the more educated we are about the chart, the more that the chart is always giving us some sort of clue on, okay, this is the pattern we're developing right now and then so on and so forth, right? So trading, short-term trading is all about adapting to the, to, to the short-term analysis. Right now it's saying something, next week it's probably gonna be saying something else, next week, right, it's just bending and molding and flowing with that. It's never about, that's, that's always short-term analysis there. So what tends to happen is that the market runs up and then we gap. Now, t generally there is three types of gaps in the markets, okay? There are three types of gaps, three gaps in the markets. The first one is a breakaway gap, okay? So breakaway uh, gap. Breakaway gap generally happens at the start of a move, not when it's already gone up, but at the start of a move. So you generally get that. So you might get you might get the market coming up and then we have a bit of a pullback through here and then it gaps up and then it runs. You have a little bit of a gap here and the market does something like that. See how that's it's, it's breaking away from the pullback. Um, and so therefore, this is a breakaway gap. Therefore, we're now likely to be seeing something like this starting breaking away from generally a pullback in the in the trend. The second type of gap we get is a continuation gap where it's just get a you just you, you, when the market goes up, it, it gaps up just a little bit and then it continues from there. It's a bit of a continuation. And then the third gap you get, which is what I call the exhaustion gap, it's when the market's totally exhausted, right? It's just totally exhausted. What happens, a breakaway gap is generally at after a pullback and then we get the gap and then it runs. That's a breakaway gap. The next gap is the continuation where we get a little bit of a gap in the middle and then it continues running. The differences between the continuation gap where it's just continuing the trend and the exhaustion gap is that the exhaustion gap, it gaps and then it stops. It doesn't do anything after the gap. So it'll gap up like here and then it'll just do this on you. It's just like, oh, and then it just does nothing on you. That's that's what that's the exhaustion gap, right? Because a continue if the mark if this uh this gap right here, if this was a not a continuation gap, yes, you would get the gap, but then guess what? You would get the market just going sideways because it's what it's exhausted. But if it's a if a, if it's already been going up and then we gap and then we continue running, guess what? That was a continuation gap. If it runs and gaps and then goes sideways. Well, guess what? That gap in the sideways, that tells you the market is exhausted. And then sometimes what you get is then you get a drop down, which this here was an exhaustion gap from the move up. This gap here, because it's a bracket, because it's a gap from here, this is now a start of a gap down. So therefore, this becomes a breakaway gap. Right, because the market's already gone up, 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 and it's exhausted itself, and then went sideways, and then it's gapped down. After the gap up, 
this is now a breakaway gap, but a breakaway gap to the downside, and then you tend to get something like at least at least a 50% retracement to to at least you know counteract that move. So this is this whole exhaustion gap up. And then the breakaway gap to the downside to start the next leg, at least on the short-term basis, um, is what we call the island reversal because it looks like an island. It goes up, up, up. It gaps up and then it does nothing. When it does nothing after the gap, you're like, okay, this market's exhausted. It just it gapped up and now it's not doing anything. Remember I said before, right? If it's a continuation gap, if it's a continuation gap, we just get this. We just continue. Okay, that, we now know that that gap there was a continuation. If it doesn't keep going through and it just goes sideways, well, guess what? The market's tired. It, it, it gapped up and then it did nothing. The market is tired. And then so and then and then if we get a gap down, see how it's like created like a bit of an island. It looks like an island, right? We've got the the thing through here, and then we've got a bit of an island, and then a gap down. Then generally speaking, that will actually start to cause the market to continue down. Uh, after again, depending on the trend, if the market has been going, if the market comes up, 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 up like this, you know, and then we get an exhaustion gap, and then we get sideways, and then we get a gap down. What's well, probably going to come down to the fifty to sixty percent level before continuing up. Again, just depends on where we are in in the markets. So I wanted to preference that to where what actually happened with gold recently. So as you can see, look what happened here, right? We we had a bit of a gap up. Actually, we had a, actually had you can see here right. We had a bit of a gap up. So for you students out there, what was the number? What what type of gap is this? Breakaway gap, right? Remember I said before that generally it's after a pullback in the market, and we gap up, and then we start to run. This is a breakaway gap, and then we started to move up. Then we had another gap through here. See how it gapped up, and then market went up. What type of gap is that? Well, at this bar here, we don't know. If the market continues up like this and continues going like that, guess what? Oh, that's a continuation gap and we now know it's just continuing the trend. But what did it do? Remember I said before the difference between a continuation and exhaustion? Exhaustion, it gaps up and then it what? Does nothing. And then sometimes you're going to get a gap down like it did here, gap down and then started to see a, a bit of a, at least a bit of a move to the downside. This here was just a really big gap. Sometimes you get like a real small gap like this. And then it continues down, but this one's a big gap. And then now it's continued down from here. Because the market's not strong trending, we're just overall going sideways. But you can notice this is all about identifying the pattern and why certain things are happening. And so this, again, this pattern that happened here, a breakaway gap, it ran up. The market was like, <laughs> gold buyers got tied really quickly. It broke away, ran up, then got exhausted and then reversed it. So that's, again guys, this is just short-term technical analysis patterns to look out for because if you start to see this, then you know what's likely to come next after we start to get these patterns when you're trading.